Welcome to this MCS video about how to log into Google Classroom. As you're aware, uh, the pandemic has forced us to all have a rapid change and lots of quick learning on how to access um, online learning through our school. Now, as we move into September, the school is going to be focusing on using Google Classroom through your hub account, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, there's two ways you can log in. The first is by literally typing Google Classroom online and then typing in your hub account. The alternative is this way. So go to hub.gov.wales, press login at the top. OK, and you're going to type in your hub account, so it'll be something at hubcumry.net. If you're not sure of this, please contact your tutor. Once you've done that, obviously sign in with your password. And you'll then see a screen that looks like this. Now, if you see at the top there, it says menu and we've got the, foot, the multiple squares. Scroll down to where it says Google for education. And you'll arrive at a slide like this. Now, you can see I've already logged into Hub Cymru before. If I hadn't, I would obviously type in my username and password just like I did to get into hub.net. Uh, and I should see an account like this. Um, if at any point when you go to log in, you think this isn't quite right and I can't see any of my classes, just make sure you haven't got your previously saved um, Schools Edu account one on there. You can check by going to this circular button here, which for me says S. If I click on it, I can see the only account I have on here is my branch S8 at Hub Cymru. However, you may need to manage your accounts and make sure you haven't got a Schools Edu one up instead. OK, that's how you set up on the computer. It's really simple. You can also get um, it on your phones. So if you go to the App Store on your phone or tablet, you can download Google Classroom. However, um, and still you sign in using your uh, hub email. However, you would also need to download Google Docs and Google PowerPoint um, to be able to potentially access some of the work. work. I wouldn't recommend working from your phone predominantly. Try if you can to get to a computer, but your phone will be really handy if you just want to be able to flick through some of the resources or if you want to try and upload pictures.